It's everybody's favorite American sneaky, dirty, Hall of Fame bare knuckle boxer, Eric Bloodaxe, addressing the Simon situation. I wasn't penalized. I didn't lose any of my money. And I'd do it again right now if he was in front of me. I thought it was funny. After I rocked him with that one, too, the way he was whining to the doctor, I thought it was funny, so I like doing it. And, um, yeah, Simon's a punk. He don't want to fight. I seen Knuckle Up Podcast say something about he'd get me in the street. Well, that's not true, because after the fight, I gave him the opportunity, and he ran away. And as far as King of the Street goes, Simon, don't be silly. You know you don't want your eyeballs ripped out of your head. You know what will happen there. It looks like we might be having a rematch come October, but look, man, as far as the headbutts go, you got to put it on the line every single time because there's no second chances in these fights because the way I take it is every fight's to the motherfucking death. So you're talking sucker punches, ambushes, any type of sneak attack, low blows, headbutts, eye gouges, oh, everything's fair. Could be even weapons, you know what I mean? So it's not changing just because I'm in a ring. You can't trust me. I don't care about honor. I have no morals when I'm in a fight, basically, so it is what it is. So yeah, man, he never tried to get me in the street. He was whining and crying in the ring, so I headbutted him, and I got a great highlight reel headbutt behind it. And I'm a Hall of Famer, and he's not. Ha, 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 ha.